Well, with these nice fall days we've been having lately, it sure is time to get out and take care of the sweet potato digging in the garden. Sweet potatoes are a fun crop to grow, and they will grow about in all areas of Oklahoma, and you can have relatively good success with them. Now, we've looked at the sweet potatoes several times through the season, and one of the things that we've noted is the tremendous amount of vine growth we had uh, on our sweet potato plants. The first step in harvesting sweet potatoes, of course, is to get rid of all that vine growth. And we've been out here earlier and chopped all the vines away and rolled them back so we can expose the sweet potato row itself. And then as we dig the sweet potatoes, I'm digging them with a spade, with a potato fork. You may want to use a garden spade or, of course, a, a deep plow if you have a big enough row in your garden. But the important thing is to be sure and very carefully lift the sweet potatoes out of the ground without damaging the roots. Now, the soil that we're growing our sweet potatoes in here is kind of tight, clay-type soil. It's not the ideal soil for sweet potatoes, but nonetheless, we do have a pretty good crop this year on them. In growing sweet potatoes, an important thing is to get them out of the ground before the danger of frost, because if the ground gets cool, particularly below 55 degrees Fahrenheit, you may have injury on the sweet potatoes through chilling. So as we lift these out of the ground, one of the things we want to do is very carefully handle these so as not to damage or bruise a sweet potato. And you notice I'm using some cloth gloves to dig these with. We may want to dig them and let them dry just a little bit, depending on what type of soil we've got. But as, they, as the soil dries a little bit on the sweet potato root, very gently wipe the soil from the root and then handle them carefully because they do bruise and damage easily and lay them in a container that is lined with paper or cloth or a soft container. You don't want to handle these like the Irish potato because they are delicate and you can, as I said, easily bruise the, the, uh, the sweet potato root. The, another important thing in growing sweet potatoes is the curing process before we store them. Sweet potatoes should be cured at a relatively high humidity and, and, and rather high temperature. Now, wow, we've really got a big one here. But that's some of the, time, the things that we usually find in the sweet potato patch is some very large ones, some very small ones, and then some in-between sizes because the sweet potato is a root and they continue to grow until we dig these sweet potatoes until, or until the temperature does not allow them to grow anymore. But in curing these sweet potatoes, I want to cure them at a temperature of about 85 to 90 degrees, a relatively high temperature, and if possible, a high humidity around 80 to 90 percent. And I want to cure them long enough so that the skin will set on them. Any damage or injury that has, that's occurred on the sweet potato root, such as where they've been removed from the, the plant itself, or where I may have damaged them in the digging process, uh, will, will cure or heal over and cure during the curing process. This may take as much as two to three weeks at this temperature and this relative high humidity. After that, then, they can be stored. They still need to be stored at a, at a rather warm temperature, but this time somewhere around uh, 60 degrees, 55 to 65 is preferable. And again, a relatively high humidity of around 80%. Now, we may not have ideal storage conditions in our home for storing sweet potatoes, but the important thing is to get them cured well before we put them in storage. And another important thing is to be sure and not store the sweet potatoes where they'll be exposed to temperatures of less than 55 degrees because at temperatures below this, they will chill and you'll get internal breakdown on the sweet potato. So even if you're buying sweet potatoes at a farmer's market or at the grocery store and you bring them home, they probably will have already been cured, but be sure and store them in a relatively warm place in the home. Be sure and don't put these in the refrigerator or where you would store your other potatoes because as I said, they will break down very rapidly, and the internal breakdown of the sweet potato will be no, will, may not be noticeable on the outside, but as you begin to cut in the potato, if they've been chilled, that inside of that sweet potato will be really broken down and be of no value. Sweet potatoes are a fun crop to grow. They, <clears throat> they may be a little bit of problems in the garden, particularly if you're limited on space, but I would encourage you to enjoy sweet potatoes. They're very high in vitamin A. They make excellent uh, dishes for a main vegetable or else for sweet potato pies, uh, for baked sweet potatoes and other ways that you can use them. So I want to encourage you to try sweet potatoes in your garden next year if you didn't this year if you have the room. 
or if you don't have the room, then go out and enjoy some Oklahoma grown sweet potatoes. This particular variety is Jewel. It's an excellent sweet potato for us here in Oklahoma. It's a nice smooth sweet potato, has a beautiful skin color to it. As this potato cures, it will have a nice orange flesh and as it is cooked, it will hold that color and in fact, the color will even deepen. So you'll have a nice attractive, very flavorful sweet potato to enjoy this fall and winter on your table.